Hello, welcome to the solving of another lead code problem that is problem number 762 that is prime number of set bits in binary representation. So the problem statement given here is given two integers left and right return the count of numbers in the inclusive range of left and right having a prime number of set bits in their binary representation. Recall that the number of set bits an integer has is the number of ones present when written in binary so we are given here left that is 6 and right is 10 and the output should be 4 and let's see why so i'll just reload this page again okay this should this is taking time okay so now we are at it and what is the value of left it was six so left value was six right value is equals to ten and how we are getting four the output is four and how we are getting it we'll be seeing that so the inclusive range is from six to ten so we'll be taking every numbers from six to ten so six binary representation that is four to six this is binary representation of six binary representation of seven will be one 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 binary representation of eight will be one zero 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 this is our binary representation of eight binary representation of nine will be one zero zero one this nine binary representation of ten will be one zero one zero. And what was the problem statement again? It was to return the number of ones it has. So let's just read the problem statement once again. So it is wanting us to return the count of numbers in inclusive range from left to right, having a prime number of set bits. Prime number of set bits, and by set we set bits we mean the number of ones present in a binary in binary digit so so the number of set bits in six is how many one and two is two a prime number yes it is a prime number and what are prime numbers prime numbers are those which are divisible by one and themselves itself so two is a prime number why because it is divisible by one and two only so if we take 10 as an example is it divisible by one it is divisible by 10 is it divisible by itself yes it is but is it divisible by, by any other number that is two five yes it is so it is also divisible by two and five so this will not be a prime number so this should not be a prime number so a prime number is one which is divisible by one and the number itself so we'll just be counting the number of ones here present the number of ones present in the binary representation of that number and we'll just check if that is prime or not if it is prime we'll be returning true or else we, are, we will be returning false and to find the number of bits present we use a built-in function in c++, c++ that is b u i l t built in pop count x or n we can tell x or n where x is the number what number the number from 6 to 10 so this can be 6 this can be 7 this can be 8 this can be 9 this can be 10 anything based upon what we want so let's take a look at the problem answer so here we have implemented a simple prime number check function which will be returning us true if it is a prime number or false if it is a not a prime and what we are doing here we just iterating from the left to right index that is it is an inclusive range so we gave we are giving is less than equals to if it were not in the inclusive range we would have just given less than so 
answer will store our built-in pop count that is the number of ones it is having so this will be storing the number of ones that is having so our answer ens is equals to storing the built-in pop count built-in pop count of what of i and it will be sending the i and checking if it is prime or not so is prime will check if my ith number is having a prime bit count or not by prime bit count we mean the number of one bits it has is a prime number or not so six is having the how many bits so it is having two set bits that is this and this so its count is two and will be sending it to the prime function and what will it be returning it will be returning true and if it's true we are just doing c plus plus counter integer and we are returning the count of the integers which are having a prime set bit and let's run this it is getting accepted let me just use some sample test cases as well okay i don't know why it's taking so much time okay this is getting accepted too let's submit it and it's getting submitted and that is it this was a pretty simple problem thanks for watching